start that record. Hello to the yub tubs. Oh, also, Rue, for you, uh, Scooby Dooby Doo. Look at that. It's Scooby Doo. Huh? Yeah, anyways. <laughs> I don't, uh, you would have to ask Mr. Noodle. I'm pretty sure Mr. Noodle bought it for me. Most likely, I would assume it came from Hot Topic, honestly. But I'm not 100% positive. Turn on all the text, please. Turn down the sound effects. Because that's kind of obnoxiously loud, honestly. Okay. Everything else should be fun. I'm super excited to play Dark Alliance. Obviously, Optijack and I... Who should be here somewhere, but I don't know if he's paying any attention. Optijack and I have been playing Dark Alliance, or not Dark Alliance, Baldur's Gate together. I've been having a ton of fun with that. And uh, I also just like D&D &D in general and whatnot. I'm excited to try out Dark Alliance. I It's a completely different game, though. To be clear, from like the Baldur's Gate that we've been playing. This is more like an action rpg -S game, if I remember correctly. I've never played it or anything, but from what I've, I've seen and heard of it, it's more like Diablo-esque, kind of, than like a CRPG-style thing. Anyways, we're going to Dwarven Fighter. <laughs> Dwarven Fighter seems like a reasonable, easy, middle starting point sort of thing, so that's where we're going to start. The map should look somewhat familiar, though, because it's based around the same area as the game that we're playing right now. I don't know if it's in the city itself. So far, we've been like almost exclusively to the south of the city. This could be like more north or the city itself or something, I don't know, but same general area nonetheless. You are weary from your travels, but mesmerized at the sight of Baldur's Gate. Not only a town of myth and legend, but also a place where one can find fame and fortune round every corner. It is that walking animation, city, though? And it seems strangely deserted. But you soon discover that the night holds danger as well. And in an instant, that danger is upon you. Easy pickings, eh, Karn? Indeed. Let's see what our little ambush has won us. His voice sounds oh, super familiar. Who goes there? It's the watch. Let's get out of here. Yes, but take the gold. Leave the rest for the watch. Damnable thieves. They grow bolder with each passing day. Still some life in this one. <laughs> Looks like all they did was make off with some possessions. Easy, easy there. That's quite a blow you took. Those thieves that attacked made off with your possessions. But at least you're alive. They're becoming more bold with each passing day. Though you've said. <laughs> stay off the streets after the sun sets. It's not safe out here. Not exactly the most riveting of writing so far, huh? <laughs> It's close enough. Aye, more than enough cutthroats there. Could be one of them would even know how to find those that attacked you. Um, what's I gonna say? Oh, the music is like super loud too. I don't know if sound effects when we turn that down, oh, if that included the narrator, voice, but you come to the Elf Song Tavern. It is a small place. Filled with a motley assortment of patrons and grisly trophies. There, the haunting voice is all around you, and the patrons are silent as the song washes over them. One by one, they all seemed lost in its call. Beautiful song, isn't it? I've heard her sing a hundred times, and each time it still moves me. Uh, you can tell what demographic they were going for here. Uh, <laughs> it is beautiful, but where's the voice coming from? It's the spirit of an elven woman. She haunts this tavern, singing once every couple of nights. Strange. Why does she sing? No one truly knows. 
her spirit was here when I first bought this tavern. Some say she sings for a lost love. A Fucking jiggle physics, bro. <laughs> God damn it. They're so bad. Return home. <laughs> Still, that's nothing but hearsay and tales. Welcome to the Elf Song Tavern. What can I get you? Uh What's that thing hanging over the fireplace over there? That's a stuffed beholder. A small version of the species, I'm told. But not that I've seen many of them. One of my regulars, Ethan, found it in the cellar. And what's a beholder? They're also called eye tyrants, if that name's any more familiar to you. Beholders are beasts that float above the ground and can cast terrible spells from their eyes. Evil things. I wouldn't want to meet one, and neither would you. I see. Well, look, I came here because I was attacked on the streets by a band of thieves. I'm looking to find them. You know anything? Hmm. Sounds like members of that new thieves guild I've been hearing about. You're lucky to be alive. Word is they're responsible for the murder of two city watchmen and the disappearance of several thieves from the old guild. Did anybody else notice that word is there is a lot blurrier than the rest of the text? Just like out of nowhere? The rest of it's like pretty sharp, pretty clear, and then word is there is just super blurry. Am I having a stroke? A bit? Okay, I'm glad I'm glad somebody agrees with me. Um so what what is it? This new guild's at war with the old one? Yes. Look, I wouldn't cross blades with those thugs if I were you. Just stay clear of them unless you want to end up dead in an alley, alright? I mean that doesn't sound too bad to me. It's not like I have much of a choice anyway. They store every last coin I had. If I know where I can find them. Tell me, or if you know, well, whatever. Look, I took a no blow to the head. I'm a little slow. Still, Again, just random words. To find them. Try the sewers. It's not my glasses. Okay. <laughs> Why are they in the sewers? Using them to move around Baldur's Gate. It's probably what's been driving all those sewer rats up to the surface. All right then, and how do I get to the sewers? There's a gate to the sewers in the cellar of this tavern. I locked it up a long time ago, before the Guild War began. Hmm. Okay, well, could I use it? Well, there's a problem with that. Actually, maybe we can help each other out. I'm listening. Well, we've had to lock up the cellar because of the horde of rats that suddenly showed up down there. Clear them out for me, and I'll give you the key to the sewer gate. And a little gold to help you get back on your feet. What do you say? You, my lady, got yourself a deal. The door to the cellar is locked, so you'll need to get the key from Ethan over in the corner there. And which one exactly? Ethan's one of our regulars. He usually fetches wine from the cellar for me, but uh, he hasn't been able to go down there since the rats appeared. And I'll go speak to him then. Luck be with you. And watch those rats. Some of them can be vicious when backed in a corner. I think I can handle some rats. Alright, uh, I am going to... Oh, yeah, let's turn up the brightness a little. Now, I'm going to turn the music down. A little bit. Oh. Okay. Oh, damn, it's got to save. Anyways, there we go. We have, we can twist the camera. That's all we can do with the camera. We can pull up a map, Diablo style. This isn't the place for that. This isn't the place for that. We have like, here we go, inventory. We have basic clothes. We have nothing else. Oh, we have a quest log. Points, okay. Interesting. And we are a level one dwarven fighter, 15 health, eight energy. That's new. Base attack of five, strength of 18, intelligence of 10, wisdom of 11, dex of 12, on of 15, charisma of 10. So not exactly, we're, we're a fighter. <laughs> it makes sense. Honestly, it all makes sense. This isn't the place for that. Talk to Nebish. What do you want? I got no coin to spare. 
So don't think your begging will make me part with a single copper. Look, I'm not a beggar. I'm not interested in your coins. I just wanted to know if you knew anything about the thieves here in Baldur's Gate. Oh, there's always been thieves in Baldur's Gate. This latest batch may be a bit more bloodthirsty than most, but they haven't crossed me yet. Still, I'd rather be able to part with my coins at the bar than keep them in my purse. Why can't you spend your gold at the bar? Ah, the bartender, Aleth, cut me off two nights ago. I keep coming back, hoping she'll change her mind, but she hasn't come around yet. And with the cellars locked, uh, I can't slip down below to get a spare bottle to tide me over. But maybe you could. Yeah, if you could find some way to get that cellar door key from old Ethan, then head down to the cellars to get me a bottle, I'd make it worth your while. I mean, I'm no petty thief, but I'll see what I can do. This isn't the place for that. Uh, you're a shopkeep? Like here? Welcome, friend. If you're looking for a good blade or a sturdy shirt of chain mail, you've come to the right place. Our stock may be a bit low at the moment with the recent demand for weapons and armor, but a new shipment should be coming in soon. And why the demand? Well, I don't know the cause, friend, but the word is there's been some trouble between the thieves' guilds of late. No matter to me if the two groups kill each other. Never had much use for thieves myself. Now... What can I do for you? Uh, just let me see what you have. We have many fine deals. Do we have any what gold? No, we're for? completely broke. So it's not like we can buy anything right now anyways. Fine club? Fine light mace? I wonder, is that like a plus one? The fine stuff? Or no, because they have plus ones. So I wonder what that's about. Plus two, masterwork short bow. I mean, you got some pretty decent stuff, man. You've got magical stuff. You've got plus ones, plus twos. All kinds of... You got better fucking gear than any of the people I found in Baldur's Gate. Amulet of Dex, Ring of Protection. If you need something to split someone's skull or a helm to protect your own, you come to the right place. I mean, it's not like I have anything I can sell. <laughs> I'm sell you the clothes off my back, just run around naked. Can I go upstairs? This Is that possible? No. That. What about you, Lordmer? You're just taking a nap. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> Talk to the dude we're supposed to. Welcome, friend. So you come in. Nasty bump on the head you've got there. Something I can do for you? I uh, hear you're the one that found that stuff beholder back there. I, I did. I'm sure there are other things lying around down there. The elf songs sheltered many thieves and cutthroats over the years. That's probably why there's that gate to the sewers down there. There's bound to be plenty of bolt holes in the cellar and the sewers. I found the beholder in one of them in a secret door behind some barrels in the far corner of the cellar. I'll keep a f eye out for him then. Farewell, Ethan. But actually, I still need to talk to you, so... Welcome, friend. I saw you come in. Nasty bump on the head. Yep, 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 yep. Something I can Something do for you. Yeah, Aleth the bartender said you had the key to the cellar. I do. We locked the door to the cellar once the rats started swarming around down there. Did you need it for something? Yeah, Aleth asked me to take care of this tavern's rat problem. I need to get into the cellar. Are you sure it was the rat problem? Or are you thinking of hunting down those thieves that attacked you? You know something about that, then. I overheard your conversation with Aleth. Look, friend, you've met them once and escaped with your life. Don't test your luck twice. Look, I have to find them. They stole every last coin from me, and I aim to get what they stole back. Well, if the thieves won't keep you from going down there, maybe the rats will. Look, rats really don't concern me. Just give me the key, please. All right, then. I won't say I didn't warn you. Here's the key to the cellar door. Don't be too long, or else I'll have to come down and get you. Oh, and before you go, take this dagger. It's uh, not much, but it might do you some good. Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, wasn't looking forward to tearing them apart with my bare hands. Uh, I'll be careful, though. Thanks for the key. Get a rusty dagger at that. <laughs> Fucking rusty. 
Uh, yeah, no, I mean, like you said, it's something at least. I'll take it. Okay, so green means equipped. That's fair. That the Open door. This isn't Can we the place for that. interact with things this in any way? No. At least not yet. This isn't the place for that. I imagine it's just because we're like inside that we can't mm -hmm. like attack or anything. I was thinking like maybe we could break open some of the barrels and shit, but okay. So X, X is attack. Circle, nothing. Triangle, oh jump! Suddenly jump! I see some rats over there. Can we break anything? Recall potion. Recall potions are very useful. They will teleport you back to the hub of any act. You can then use them again to return to the location you recalled from. Recall potions are used through the pause menu. Sounds very handy indeed. And our inner, inner Zelda player here. Gotta smash all the pots, bro. Nothing. I was really hoping for like a health potion or something, honestly. No luck though, eh? So Obelisk let us save, it seems. Save? Ooh, fancy particle effects. All right, let's kill some fucking rats, dude. Oh, jeez, we <laughs> can get our ass kicked by some rats, bro. Rats? Nah. Scared no stinking rats. We can. What was that? That was something. Lesser rejuvenation potions. That must be health. That green bar up there. What is that one? Arrows, those will come in handy. Uh, if we get a bow at some point. Health pots. There's an actual chest. I'm assuming we can just like keep whatever we find down here, right? Oh wait, lesser healing. So rejuvenation potion must be something different. I don't want to use it. Oh, okay. Can use potions quickly when not in the inventory by pressing R2 for healing and L2 for rejuvenation. This will automatically select the most appropriate size potion. That's nice. I do appreciate that, but what does it do? Rejuvenation must be mana then. And healing, well, health. Like that's, <laughs> that's pretty obvious. We have combo attacks? Almost looks like it. Five gold and a rusty short sword. Let's go, dude. Give me that sword. That's got to be better than what we have, right? Yeah, one to three is... Oh, fuck. I dropped it. <laughs> Pick it back up. Okay. Is there, like, attack speed? No, it doesn't seem like it. Ow. Wonder, like, if your weapons can break in things. Like, is us smashing all of these barrels and wooden chests and things with our sword pro bro we literally cut that rat in half <laughs> jesus christ okay <laughs> that was unexpected can't like steal the torches from the walls bro this sword is badass what are you why are you guys scared of these swords these rats are nothing man really giving us a shit ton of rejuvenation potions, huh? I guess maybe, like, in the early game, if you're playing a sorcerer, maybe you're kind of reliant on them. Just curious if we can, like, break the game. We can hop out of bounds. Looks like we probably can somewhere, man. They had to have missed a section of invisible walls somewhere. Gold's always nice. Ah, uh, just... So curious what that green bar is. I'm wondering if the green bar is experience? We're about one-third of the way to our next level. Yeah, and roughly one-third of the way through that bar. I'm thinking maybe that's... 
just our experience bar. Kind of weird placement for it between the... Oh my god. Between the health and the mana. I would expect it more to be like underneath or something maybe, but... Oh, that's right. We can rotate the camera. Of course. Yeah, no. Yes, please. This game really just gives out the potions and shit, huh? Makes me wonder, like, is it gonna suddenly get much harder? Or is it just going easy in the early game? Stocking us up early? What is that thing on the ground? Is that like a child rat? <laughs> a baby rat? Doesn't seem like we can interact with it in any way. Background piece. Wait, what is that? Ooh, Ruby. That should sell for a little something something. I wonder how deep this wine is we're supposed to be finding for this guy. For the drunkard upstairs. Also, the guy that found the step of holder was mentioning, like, secret doors and shit. I'm trying to, like, keep my eye out for any of that, but... I'm not seeing any secret doors, man. I gotta admit. Kind of upsetting, honestly. So do we, like, heal health over time? It seems like we do, and a pretty decent bit of it at that. Unless you get swarmed by, like, a large chunk of enemies, you really don't have to worry about health, do you? Or I guess maybe if you were going up against an enemy that's, like, way too powerful for you. Yeah, just from smashing pots, man, we're already back up to full health. <laughs> Rat quest complete! Return to the tavern to receive a reward from Aelith as well as the key to the sewers. If you found a recall potion, use it now by selecting recall in the start menu. This menu will take you back to the tavern. Use it again to return here. That's fancy. That's two-way. Wooden shield. That should be good for us since we're you know, a fighter. Oh, I'm still fucking tired though. Can we, like, actually guard, or does it just give us a... Oh, no, we can't. Okay, R1. And actually, like, block. I don't think we need to save. I'm sure it'll be fine. Famous last words and all that. I mean, we could probably, like, sell the ruby to get some better gear or something, but... Fuck whatever that was. What are we killing right now? Are these like cobalts? Charlotte said thank you for the new box filled with paper. She's so welcome, love. Glad she's enjoying her box filled with paper. Ooh, padded armor. That's surely better than what we have. We pick something else up too. Is it a new sword? This looks important. Bottle of wine. Padded boots. Very nice. Okay. So that gives us armor of one. Padded armor gives us armor of six. So a hell of a lot better than our clothes, man. They weren't worth shit. Rusty long sword. One to four. There doesn't seem to be like a strength requirement or anything. So why would you ever use... Say the short sword or the dagger. I mean, maybe like, maybe it's just class-based weapons in this game. And like, since I'm a fighter, I can use pretty much anything. But if I was the mage, maybe I'd only be able to use daggers, unless staves are a thing that you find later on. Staves and wands. Can I walk into this pool of water? I can. I like that ripple effect. <laughs> The entire pool looks a little more like, I don't know, it looks a little too thick. Like maybe it's oil or something. Some, some 
beautiful motor oil. Get wrecked, all of you. Wooden shield. That's better than the worn one we have, right? Yeah. Two versus one. Weighs the same. Oh, I was trapped! That's pretty cool. Is there any way for us to, like, know that before we fucked it up? Arrows? Rusty battle axe? I don't know about the rusty one, though, you know? We're gonna take a look at it, but... I guess our longsword's rusty. Two to six? Yeah, okay, that's just better. Has a min of two instead of one, and a max of six. That'd be what, average of four or five? <laughs> And again, it doesn't really feel slower to use. Padded boots. Pretty sure we already have padded boots. It would be nice. Oh, damn, dude. <laughs> it would be nice if, like, it automatically locked on to two enemies when they're next to you. Whenever there's a big group of enemies, obviously... Let me pick who to attack or whatever. But whenever we're in the, like, big groups like this. Or not in the big groups like this. You get what I'm saying. Whenever we're fighting a single enemy. Huh. <sighs> fuck. <laughs> It'd be really nice if we could pick. Uh, or if it would just auto-target. Like, whatever enemy's close to us. To fucking hit them. We've definitely missed a few. Okay, that time I saw it said pop or it popped up and said ignite. So we maybe we do have some sort of indicator. But I don't feel like using a health potion. But our health does need to go up a bit. Um, you know what? It's fine. They're just spiders. How bad can they be? Can they come through the door? Not really. Okay, yeah, they can. They can also apparently. Glitch through the fucking wall. You dead? Okay. Select to level up. Dodge toughness. Plus three hit points permanently. Proves your armor class by one. Uh, that's ranged. Provides a targeting line to make aiming easier. Well, it's not like we're really going to be aiming, so. Plus five mana? No. Increases your mana regen? No. Causes <laughs> critical hits to deal more damage. He'd increase the chance of scoring a critical hit. That, that's a good choice, yeah. Give me improved critical first, and then we'll look at like maybe getting death blow or something later. Did I plug the block in? No, I completely forgot, love. Uh, next time I get to a save point, we'll uh, take a very short break and I'll plug it in. Ooh, two chests over here and a dead... Is that a person? What is that? Is that a, like the cobalt or whatever? You sure, love? I don't mind if you need it plugged in now. Oh, in fact, yeah, here's a save point right here. Are you sure? Take it with me for when you're coming up. Okay. That's fine then. And if you want. Okay. <laughs> I will. I will. Close. Good. Wooden shield. Where's the shield I have on now? Oh, I can't use the shield because I'm using a two handed axe. That makes sense. Padded boots and worn leather boots are both one. Okay, so that's all just for selling, basically. Let me save and then I'll I'll go plug it in. So I don't forget. Oh, fuck me. All right. Let me go do that for noodle real quick. BRB. Good be
possibly to get it now, and I want it. Looks like the idea of the game is just expensive. How expensive is it? It's like much more than. Uh, damn. <laughs> is it a lot more than just regular Monopoly is? Sixty dollars. I like never buy board games. So how much? How much is regular Monopoly? I know, like, when we got it, it was on sale or something for, like, 20 or 30, but what's what's the normal price for one of those games? Single shard, bunch of money, I will gladly accept. And then instantly get rid of Donald again for a little <sighs> Fuck. Just because we oh. need a boot. another one. This probably puts us on that other one, doesn't it? The one that I was trying to force my way up onto. Yup. <laughs> Turns out I should have just searched a little bit more. That was the Dalmatians. Okay. Is there anything else I'm missing in here? No? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's like 15 to $20 for regular Monopoly. Uh... I kind of swore it was a little bit more than that, but I mean, you're looking at it right now, so. No problem, love. I got you. Your game has been saved. Okay. Forgot about the particle effects. So fancy. Wait, there's a side room over here. Aha! Let's go. We did find a secret room, dude. Only because I happened to look at the map. <laughs> so, like, what the hell is that? But that's only one secret room. Got a ruby, one gold, and a health potion. Well, yeah, I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. Don't have the key for this door. Okay, so we need to use the recall potion then? Recall. Where'd Ethan go? Also, here you go, my guy. Managed to find me a bottle of Aleth's best yet? I'm not really familiar with Aleth's. Will this bottle do? Hi, it'll do me well enough. Thank you, friend. Hey, here, have a bottle from me. No idea what the thing does, but it smells awful, and it doesn't seem to have the kick I was looking for. Really? I thought you were going to compensate me in gold, not in some nasty swill. Uh, thanks anyways. Farewell, friend. The healing pot. Yeah, I mean, I kind of figured that's what it actually was, but... Uh, now you were gonna pay me, right? You're back. Did you see Ethan down there? In the cellar? No, I haven't seen him. He followed you down there not long ago, and I fear he may have gotten lost in the cellar. Or worse, he may have wandered into the sewers. I tried to stop him. How would you get lost in the cellar? It's literally just one long... It's fine. Don't worry, Aelith. I've taken care of all the rats, so he can probably just got lost. I'll find him. Thank you. Uh, but before you go, please take these coins in payment for all you've done so far. And, as promised, here's the key to the sewer gate. Be careful down there. There are bound to be worse things than sewer rats in those tunnels. I'll be careful. Thanks, Aelith. Wait, was that body that we found down there his? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think it might have been. Uh, I'd like to sell you some shit. And look no farther. You'll find my shop has excellent weapons at reasonable prices. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Um, rubies are considered potions? We have many fine oh. deals. What are you looking for? I mean, I'm gonna sell them. Our shop carries the finest dwarven weapons. And a bunch of these the lesser rejuvenation mountains. potions. I'll keep a few, but as far as I know, we don't need mana Swords, for anything. Axes, bows. We have everything you need right yeah, here. you keep saying that shit, but still. Fine club three to five. That's not bad. Uh, finally, mace. If you need something 513 though, okay, skull, so no, this shit's all like expensive. We can't, we can't afford you'll any come of it. To the right place. Yeah, no. Get padded armor, which is six. But no, I don't, I don't think we really need it. Concerns, then look no 
All right, we'll keep our money for now. Uh, so didn't it say if we use a recall again, it takes us back to where we were? I wonder if that uses two potions, though, or... Is this his body? No, it looks a little too f fucked up. I'm... I don't know. Hopefully we didn't break anything by going farther than we were meant to. What happens if we, like, leave the room and come back? I guess now that, like, the door is closed, it's probably not gonna do anything. Where was it that it told us to turn around? I mean, there was nothing for him to get killed by down here. Maybe, maybe he did go to the sewer somehow. Even though Aelith is the one that had the fucking key, not him. So I don't, I don't know how he possibly could have gotten into the sewer. But maybe fucking, I don't know. He's magic. He just teleported through the wall. Maybe that's what happened. I don't fucking know. It sounds reasonable enough to me. What's this you've caught? A sewer rat? Don't hurt him. Lord Xantum will wish to speak to him. And he'll need to be in the best of health. But why, though? Ah, excellent. I was expecting you. Did you receive the package from Lord Xantum? I, I did. And I have it with me. And you know where it is bound? He told me to take it to the crypts and place it within the Chamber of Ashes there. Excellent. The entrance you seek lies on the level below past the sewer grates. Let no one see you enter the temple and do exactly as you have been instructed. Now be on your way. I will return for the prisoner later. Guard him well. Well, it's a good thing I'm psychic, and you said all that in front of the prisoner, so, like, <laughs> I can figure out exactly where you're taking your secret item thing. Or whatever reason. <laughs> I'm fucking no. We... Yeah, we can. Go in the water. I guess we kind of have to. I mean, it is the sewers, I guess... Guess I should have expected trekking through some nasty ass looking water. <gasps> the rats can come in too! Evil rats, is this? Can we let this one free? No. That's rude. Why's he gotta stay locked up in there? What'd he ever do? Can't see, doesn't matter, just keep swinging. Everything will die eventually. Beautiful. Ow. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. One of these little guys were vicious. Old. More rejuvenation potions. I wonder if there's like a maximum number of rejuvenation potions that we can hold. Maybe it's a good thing we sold a couple of them. Ooh, they got archers now. Oh my god, dude. I need something that, like, swings with a wide arc. Oh shit, I did not mean to use a healing potion. I was trying to block. Son of a bitch. That was such a waste. We did not need to use it there. These things are almost dead. We could have just auto-healed back up to full. Oh, well. It's one potion. Not the end of the world, I suppose. R1 block. L1 map. Try to remember that. Oh, is this the... No. thought this was the jail. I don't want to free the little guys. It's upsetting that we can't. We'll ever do. Oh. <laughs> there. It opens the way forward. Guess I probably could have figured that one out. 
Okay, fire hurts. <laughs> we kind of get stuck in it for a moment there, too. Guess it's like a stun lock. Oh, hi. You guys look nice. Nope, 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 nope. All bastard. Are you shimmering? I'm guessing that's just some sort of lighting bug. Wait, what was that? Sort of staff? Oh shit, I didn't mean to drop it. What's our carry weight sitting at? 100 out of 180. Okay, so we are going to have to start dropping things soon, but. Does this hurt? It does. Not that badly. Do we have the option of just like... There's probably another path we could have taken that didn't hurt so bad. Oh, padded helm. I don't think we had a helm yet. Yeah, no, that's an extra uh, single armor. Helps with us casting off our shield for the extra damage here. How many arrows are... 220? That's 41 pounds of our carry weight? I wonder if we can sell arrows for a reasonable price. Or even at all. I'm gonna assume we can. But asking for a reasonable price might be a bit much. Damn you. Jesus Christ, man. I cannot hit shit. Oh, you can only guard for like a moment. At least whenever you don't have a shield. Maybe it's different when you have a shield. Yeah, see, I'm holding R1. But he just puts his axe down after a moment. Resting. Okay. A chest? For gold. Basic bitch stuff. I like it. I don't know which way I'm meant to be going. Oh, damn it. Get out of the fire. Which bothers me. I feel like no matter what I do, I'm going to end up going the right way on accident. I don't want to do that. Can I fight here in the water? I can how short I am, I wasn't sure I'd have enough, like, movement in the water to be in any way effective. But I guess it really doesn't matter. Game don't give no fuck. Guess we'll take that side path and just hope for the best. A lighting bug there for a moment. Fast. Excuse me, sirs. Thank you. You mind not running so much? I'm trying to murder you. Thanks, friends. Regular short sword. That's probably one to six. But if I use the short sword, I could also use the shield. Oh, the spear's also two to. The one handed or two? It's two. I figured it would be, but we have a lower minimum with the short sword. But being able to equip. The two extra armor from the shield is pretty dope, though. Fuck, I just... I just used a healing potion again. I'm gonna do that a lot, man. I already know it. It's a nice feature, but I wish I had to be a little more deliberate. 
Oh. I wonder what that does. We have like some sort of quick menu slots or something. But they're all empty right now. Hi! You're a big fellow. You're <laughs> big dead fellow. Padded helm. More arrows that I can hardly carry. Padded helm is what we're wearing already, right? Yeah. Lots of... Oh, no. That's separate. Okay. I'm in my fucking eye, dude. Get the shit out of me. Ah, uh, the two rooms just end up connecting, of course. I should have guessed that, honestly. Nothing. Yeah, we killed everybody. Good, good, good. Me. I mean, this looks like it was made to climb, man. I should be able to get up there. Ow. Wasn't nice. Now is when we really need, like, a bow and arrow of our own. You shit, dude. Okay, now we actually need a healing potion. I was hoping maybe pulling the le lever would do something in some way. Can we block forever with the shield? We can. Or at least for a really long time. Okay. Honestly, I think we're better off just running through and killing everything than trying to... Find oh, shit, we're dead. <laughs> maybe not, you know. Fuck, it's been a while since we saved. I saw that save point back there. I was like, we should probably save. But then in my head, I was like, nah, the game's been so easy so far. We don't need to save. It's fine. Now we're all the way back fucking here. Fuck, we didn't even grab the key. Son of a bitch, dude. Okay, well. <laughs> recall. <laughs> Look, it's fine. We know where we're going now. It'll be super quick. Talk to Nebish. Give him his bottle. Talk to the shopkeep. We have many fine Sell him deals. the shit we don't need. What are you looking for? Our shop carries the finest dwarven weapons. Brought here all the way from the Sunset Mountains. Uh, yeah, and these things weigh a pound each. A bunch of them. Swords, oh, axes, bones, didn't mean to sell you the fancy healing potion, but whatever. Right okay. You still sleeping? <laughs> Monkeys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, Aleph. Don't worry, I'm sure he's fine. And fall back. Next time we get to a save spot, we'll fucking save. Wonder if he has cutscene skips in this game. What's this? Ah, it does. Let's go, dude. I appreciate that. That's nice. There was, like, nothing around here. I hope we find that sword again. I was really liking that long sword. It does... It, it just feels a little bit quicker. I don't know if it's actually any quicker or not. I don't think it actually is, but... I don't know. It felt right, though. Ancient potions, okay. 
There you go. We're saving. Right, yeah. Now we're good. Bro, stop running, you bastard. Bro, I can't fucking hit the dude. There we go. Come here, you dick. Bro, how did I hit you from, like, all the way over there? You were halfway across the map. Did anybody else drop anything good? Bunch of lesser rejuvenation potions. No, like, armor or weapons or anything fun? Guess not. Is there anything in here? Uh, well, the lever, obviously. I mean, people-wise. There were also a couple chests in the, the cell. Just the locked-up rat. Okay. I wonder if the loot is actually randomized, like, in the chests. I'm sure it is from the enemies, but... This where? Yeah, this is where the big annoying line of them are. I think we got this. Christ, we don't got this. Potion. Everybody's dead. Now, where's my rat friends at? We did level up, right? Before we saved, yeah. I don't mind these guys, but the, the range dudes are kind of a pain in the ass. Okay, now we got a keen hand axe. One to six. I don't know what the symbol means, though. But it is one-handed, at least. Does it mean we're good with it? What are we good with? Yokobo, what's up, man? Okay, so it doesn't seem like we have proficiency with any type of weapon specifically. I wonder what that little symbol means. It might be in the, the manual, but I'm not pulling out the manual. <laughs> Fuck all that. Fuck, I used a potion again, didn't I? Keep trying to block, but I hit the wrong button and like, bruh. Is this Baldur's Gate 3 finally? 100% man. This is BG3. <laughs> Don't you like it? Look at the upgrades. It's so pretty compared to the one we were playing. Honestly, like sure, 3D's nice and everything. But I think Baldur's Gate looks better than this. Just to be honest, you know? I don't mind the 2D art of Baldur's Gate. It can be a little jank sometimes, but early 3D models? Not exactly where it's at, especially when they're this fucking gray. I don't think this is bad looking or anything for a PS2 game, but... Baldur's Gate's got a, a special charm to it, I guess. I sold all of my arrows this time because we had so many just weighing us down last time. And now I feel like we're not getting any fucking arrows. Where did you come from, little guy? Stop fucking running from me, you dick! Nice. Oh, Chocobo, you weren't here earlier. Presumably you were working. I, uh, picked up a game that I think you'll be happy with. It's not on the list yet. It should be within the next couple of days. 
I got, I got that. That came in the mail today. The case isn't in the best uh, condition. I wish it was a little bit better. The artwork is a little bit frayed, but it's not bad. It's complete at least. You know, I got the, the manual. The camera's not gonna let you see it, but anyways, so. So we got that one now. A couple other games too, but nobody cares about the other one. Or other ones. Like, come on, dude. Arthur and the Invisibles? <laughs> Whose favorite game was Arthur and the Invisibles? And before that one guy pops up who fucking loves Arthur and the Invisibles. Added boot. Added boot. Is that what we're wearing already? No. Yes. Okay. There's the vote for Eco. Uh, I imagine Eco's probably already gonna be one of the highest voted games, honestly. Whenever I get it added, because didn't you have a fair few votes added to it just to pick it up? Like, you fucking love Arthur and the Invisibles? Bro, the worst part is, I don't even know if you're joking or not, because I, I don't know what the fuck it is. So it could have been like a TV show that was popular when you were a kid. It could be some shitty ass game that you were just really into for some reason. Like, I have no fucking clue. Also, my guy, OptiJack. Um, since we're playing through Baldur's Gate together, are we gonna play through Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance together? <laughs> I don't know if these ones have PC ports, but no, we're not playing this? Wow, man. Not even going to give it a chance? I honestly don't think it's bad. Like, I think Baldur's Gate is better, in my personal opinion. Just from what I've played of it so far. To be fair, I've only played an hour of it. Like, it's, it's just a hack and slash dungeon crawler type of game, you know? I don't think it's bad or anything. I think these little bastards fucking suck. I'm just chugging down potions like my life depends on. I mean, to be fair, my life does literally depend on it. You have a couple of votes on Eco? Just a couple? One or two? Yeah? Like, that's one thing that slightly bothers me about this game so far. How the fuck were we meant to deal with that without just chugging potions? Like... Was there any way to deal with that? I thought maybe pulling one of these levers would make like, oh, I don't know, a boulder fall or something that would just crush them. That's why last time I quickly grabbed one of them. If we were, you know, a mage or a ranger or something, then we could probably deal with them from a distance. But, and I imagine that's why all of these things are up. Oh, I can push this one? I didn't know there was one random fucking thing here I could push. We probably could have, like, pushed that using it as, as fucking armor. But, oh well. Too late now. We already murdered the bastard. You know, the game is two-player, though, my guy. I don't know about PC, but it is two-player. 4420? <laughs> nice. But yeah, I mean, I divide by 10 whenever I take them off the to buy list to put them on the uh, to play or uh, and put them on the to play list. But that, that'll still be sitting at a cool 442. I might take it down to 420 just to be fair, you know, no other reason. But for fairness sakes, Is there a point in this little platforming puzzle here. Oh, yeah, the two chests that I already collected. I'm a fucking dumbass. Yeah, so there, there's a pretty good chance, then, that when's the next night we play PS2 stuff? Sunday night? Yeah, Sunday night. There's a decent chance Sunday night we'll be playing some, uh, some Eco. I can't say for sure, but... <laughs> 
but it seems reasonably likely. Honestly, these big guys go down easier than the small guys. Because the small guys, like, run away and throw shit at you and whatnot, it's just annoying. Or is the big guys just kind of stand there and take it like a boss? You're okay with it? I kind of figured you would be. What is... Bro, what do you... There's a tent here and I can't even go in it? That's some bull. Okay, well, worn leather helm is better than no helm. Our armor is currently six. This is all five. That's as good as that gets. Club two to three, spear two to six. Couple arrows. Yeah, no. Oh, fuck. I, I don't know what game it is that triangle is fucking go back, but I keep trying to press triangle to go back and it don't work that way. Question of the day, would you rather have the power to read minds or the power to control time? What kind of absolute idiot would pick mind reading? Time, time hands down, yeah. I mean, time was my choice as well, but that's what Google's AI suggested as a question, were those two specifically. But like, if we're being real, time is kind of OP as an option, right? So like, yeah, it's gonna be time pretty much every time. What power, like singular power, would you prefer to have over the ability to control time? Like, if there is one, because honestly, time has always been at the top of my list. The second, like, for me would be like super speed, you know, flash style. Because that's basically gives you the ability to slow down time. Cause like you can move and perceive things so quickly that time is basically in super slow-mo, but technically not. I mean, what is controlling time, I guess, outside of just being super fucking fast, right? If you think about the actual science behind it, that's that's literally kind of all it is. So specifically bend will. I mean, I could see how that'd be pretty sick, I guess. Be able to basically like control people. <laughs> Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, my love. Sorry, I was looking at something. Anyways. Did I say my guy? If I said my guy, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I meant my love. Anyways, super speed would make your ADHD waiting mode unbearable. That's my one worry with, like, again, using the flash as an example. Can you go in and out of that super speed? Or are you always stuck at that, like... I'm super fast kind of mode, right? Because that would suck. <laughs> like, even if you bend the physics of it a little bit and you didn't age as quickly as you were moving, which wouldn't make much sense, but let's say that's how that worked, you know? Then, uh, like, each moment, each second in the real world for everybody else would be fucking an eternity to you, you know? If you could move at near the speed of light, like he can, like just to exist at that constantly. So like, that's the big caveat, caveat, whatever, words, with that one there, you know, <laughs> like, I still think super speed would be really fucking cool, but I hope the ability to turn it off would come with that. Like, not to just be permanently stuck 
in that state. I said love, but it seemed like you paused for a second and then said love. Probably because I was looking at something. <laughs> I'm guessing. I don't remember back that far. I just said thing. Were? You said were? Were. <laughs> I need your full attention. It's kind of hard when I'm doing stuff, you know? I can't do stuff and pay attention to something else at the same time. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. You just come stream for me, and then I'll give you my full attention. Deal? I'm busy. No, no, no. No being busy. I need your full attention up here. Oh, damn it, there were things that I could push again. I want to try crushing something with these things. I don't know. I have no idea if it actually works like that or not, but I want to try it. Hey, busy. I know, you're doing your nails. I saw when you said that earlier. I was paying attention. looks suspiciously like fuck the correct way to go is what i was gonna say oh hi army of kobolds and freaky guy bdsm orc Ooh, how'd you know my kink guy <laughs> run away <laughs> oh shit they're faster than me Hold on, I went, oh shit. Thought I picked up that spear already, but I guess not. I uh, obviously went the right way. I wanna go the wrong way. You'll just give me a moment, guy. I'll come back for you. Wait. Wait. Why is everybody dead over here? Did the game just assume that everybody would be killed because I hit the other trigger or... Because we never came through here. Did somebody else come through here? Can we get a party member? We're like literally... Oh shit, that's why! There's a giant fucking rat! Hello! I wasn't expecting rat boss. Holy shit, dude. Oh, thank God we're alive. I was just getting ready to run away. That thing, <laughs> Jesus Christ. That thing outputs some damage. Oh, damn. I should have tried. I don't know if it's possible. I should have tried to lead him back to where the other dudes were. And see if I could just make the giant fucking rat kill all the, the kobolds BDSM daddy sent after me. Rusty battle axe, keen spear. Nah, everything kinda sucks, man. Padded helm, wooden shield. Padded. Worn leather helm versus padded helm. It's the same thing. 1-1. One, one. This fits our armor better, though. Just from an aesthetic standpoint, you know? What if King Rat leveled from them? Oh shit, dude. That's why he almost kicked our ass, man. Killing all these fucking kobolds. Been powering up like cell down here, absorbing them. All right, kobolds, come get me. I sneak? Uh, sneak doesn't really seem to be a thing. Bugbear Chieftain? Oh, that's BDSM Daddy's name? He's a bugbear? Fine, I have enough health potions. I can just keep spamming them and like... Dragon Ball Z abridged yet? No. <laughs> I've watched a few episodes of... Uh... Whatchamacallit though? <laughs> Final Fantasy VII abridged. Not all of it, but some of it. Zell is so fucking good. 
Ooh, leather boots plus one. That's our first set of magic gear. That should be helpful. Also leveled up. Uh, I mean, dodge would be nice. Daring capacity is nice. No. Health regen? No. Ooh, increases your attack rate. That's pretty good. I kind of want more improved critical, because honestly, I feel like a critical build is just better. It's like we're doing 30s on crits, man. Yoda expert? That's not bad. I'm going to take improved critical again. Oh, shit, it costs two. So it's one of them things where like every level costs another point. Yeah, now it costs three. Okay. So I guess that kind of stops you from breaking the game too quickly. Damn. I'm currently in the Cell Saga. I've been slowly watching Dragon Ball Z. And, uh, kind of forgot how, <laughs> I don't know, how shit his first form was, I guess, is what I was going to say. Like, honestly, before he became Perfect Cell, kind of garbage. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. There's still no better weapons, though. It's this keen hand axe with whatever the symbol that makes it look like it's about to break is. Need for flatterly pick pick a lowly low pick a lo lily low <laughs> lily lily what the fuck you already inside me Jesus Christ oh uh, it's fucking weird man you love his for real though like because Dragon Ball Z abridged or just legit you like his first form I find it I don't know man like. Design-wise, it's not too bad. I'm okay with it. But, like, I don't know. I'm just not into it. The way he speaks. Just his weird, weird obsession with, like, absorbing things. <laughs> oh. I mean, that's fair. I'm not going to tell you what to like. Too much stuff already. But I'm not a big fan, person. That's worth 13. Do we have anything worth less than 13? I mean, those. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I guess we can drop a bunch of these. But we still have 29 fucking lesser healing potions. That's ridiculous. Oh, God. I want to pick up the arrows. Is it possible to pick up the arrows? No. Okay. I give up. Somehow autocorrect knows Star Ocean names, but not instruments. <laughs> Do you just spend that much time talking about Star Ocean that it just like figured it out or? <laughs> Can I save somewhere? What happens if I go up to town right now? Is the town being overran or is it a safe zone? Okay, yeah, it seems like a safe zone. This isn't and, the okay, and we can't like fight anything up here, so. Then what's the point, I guess, of coming up here? And go into a CD alley and do nothing. Type to one storing your stream. That's all they need, man. AI overlords, they learn quick. Literally, like I can't even talk to anybody. Take a bath in the fucking water fountain on the public fountain we can go to the tavern again we'll do just to sell off some of our shit if nothing else is that literally all this place is for though excuse me lady I'm trying to go to the graveyard I'm guessing the crypts temple maybe Excuse me, why so rudely walk over all these graves and things? Yeah. It's kind of empty. Like that the show treats Cell like a horror villain, not some evil embodiment or some shit? Yeah, I mean, like, I, I like the idea of Cell. I just don't like Cell. <laughs> like, the design of Cell. And... 
how dumb some people were with so you know like it annoys me how piccolo lost cell whenever he first came across him you know like beefed up piccolo how he just lost him out of nowhere i know he was solar flared but like boy come on dude the guy has key i know he was hiding his key or whatever but he was close by and then the fact that they didn't all just instantly like split up to find him and then whenever he eventually catches up to Android 17 and 18 and uh, Piccolo gets his ass beat and then 16 comes around and is like, yo, I'm actually a badass and takes him down. Like how 17 and 18 just fucking stood there watching instead of running the hell away. Like, it's just, they're fucking stupid. <laughs> it just made me mad. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Get the hell out of here. But yeah, it's it's more his design that I didn't like. I, I like uh, Perfect Cell's design. I think that looks good. And Cell Form 2's not too bad. He's a little beefy. But I mean, like, I don't think he looks bad, though. It's the, like, alien-esque look, I guess. That I'm just not a huge fan of. Like... As addressing DBZA, why are you still here? I mean, to be fair, they fucking... 16 yells at them... In, uh, in regular DBZ, too. Like... <laughs> like, why are you still here? I told you guys to get the fuck out. We have many fine deals. What are you looking for? Oh fuck, dude! Studded Our leathers are twenty-two hundred. Dwarven weapons brought here all the way from the Sunset Mountains. Amulet of Dex, Ring of Protection. So I'm assuming the Ring of Protection just gives us a plus one to our armor. Everything you need right here. I would like a better weapon, though. Actually, you have if you need like a short sword. Skull or a I mean, a short sword plus two is pretty dope. Come to the right Although only three to eight. If quality and price are your chief concerns, then look no farther. You'll find my bastard sword. Oh well, that's way too expensive for me, anyways. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just buy ring of protection. Equip that shit. Uh, how do we? This isn't the place for that. Hush you. The place if I say it is. Probably wait. There's someone new to talk to. Ipswich. What's up, well, Ipswich? Right, friend, it's good to see a new face in the Elf Song. Please have a seat, share a drink. Uh, my name's Ipswich. And what brings you to Baldur's Gate? Well, I had thoughts to seek my fortune here, but what little fortune I had was taken from me when I entered the gate. Since then, though, I've earned the equivalent of a king's ransom from killing a couple things in the sewers, so I'm actually doing pretty okay. And I think I might just, like, buy a mansion somewhere out in the fields and call it a day, you know? No, like, seriously, though, we have thousands of gold. We're fucking set for a long time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had thoughts to seek my fortune oh, here. sad tale, friend. My heart goes out to you. Seems Baldur's Gate has not been treating its visitors well of late. I, too, am a stranger here. It's likely because the dub gave form to a stupid fucking voice. Yeah, it's not great, is it? Because that's I'm, I'm actually watching the dub. Just because I grew up with Dragon Ball Z dubbed instead of sub. So it just feels more natural to me. Um, but yeah, I am actually watching it dubbed. That's another thing, too, I think, with like First Cell. The slithery, snaky voice that they gave him, I wasn't a huge fan of. With form 1. I don't know. I like... Again, I just... I like Perfect Cell. <laughs> Perfect Cell is pretty cool, I guess. But, I don't know. Well, I came to pay my respects at the Shrine of Suffering, the local temple run by the priests of Illmatter. You know, I was over there looking around just a moment ago, and doors seemed to be locked. But I came to find the temple sealed, and no one answered my summons. I had a terrible feeling that something was wrong inside, but I did not know what. Uh... Very cool. We shall speak another time about that, because I'm not fucking dealing with it right now. I got a sewer to loot. Actually, it's already fucking 2.30. We got a sewer to probably die in, maybe, or something. I don't know. Try out this ring of protection we got. 
See if we can't find a decent fucking sword real quick. Oh. Sound effects just fucking died out of nowhere. It's okay. They came back. It's fine. I wonder, is this the way we're meant to go? That locked. door's locked. So I guess not. This way, then. Didn't we get a uh, a key? For the, the jail cells, right? Oh, yeah, here we go. Here's the guy. Oh, well, shit, I guess I should have just came here first, talked to him, and then, then we probably could have went upstairs. Been happy with ourselves. Hey, did we just get a fucking bow? We did, a short bow. Four to eight. Not bad. We have air. We don't have arrows. So. I wonder how... Why does it show a nipple on this room if there ain't no fucking hallway here? Maybe when we let this guy go, he just like pops out and breaks down the fucking walls. Nothing, nothing. Sorry, yes, I see you. Weird that you're not like calling out to me like, hey, guy, it's me, save me. Thank the gods you're here. Any longer and I'd be sitting in some kobold's belly. Ayla told me you'd followed me down into the cellars. Ethan, I'm glad I found you. Well, after I gave you the cellar door key, I felt guilty about letting you head down here without help, so. I followed you down. No sooner do I get down here than I'm surrounded by those yapping cobalt devils and they haul me to this cell and lock me in. But the door to the sewers was locked. How did you get down here? There's an entrance to the sewers from the street and I used that. I knew about it from my days when I was in the guild. The old guild, not the new one. Oh, there was another entrance. So what you're saying is I didn't need to go through the cellar at all. No, but I was hoping that maybe the rats would discourage you from chasing those thieves. I was worried the thieves would kill you. I don't know why you worry about some stranger so much, especially since you used to be a fucking thief. Retired. That life's behind me. Still, I've kept a bit of what I've learned, and it might help you now. You know what? I'm interested. What do you mean? I managed to pick this key off the chieftain you killed. I think it unlocks a gate deeper in the sewers. If you're still aiming to catch those thieves that robbed you, then you'll need it. Uh... While I was locked up here, I overheard some of the thieves from this new guild planning a mission. And that's what I heard. I don't know what that thief was carrying, but it can't have been good. If you want to stop whatever deviltry they've got planned, then you'll need to head deeper into the sewers and find that thief. Anybody want to tell me how the hell him pickpocketing the guy I murdered helps me at all? Because, like, when I murdered him, I could have just taken the key off his body. So, I was going to get the shit one way or another. That's all I'm saying. If anything, he just slowed me down because I already tried to go through that door and couldn't. All right, then. I don't need to tell you to be careful. I'll meet up with you at the Elf Song Tavern later on. Come find me when you found that thief and what he was carrying. I'll try to dig up some of my old contacts and see if they can tell me anything about these thieves that could help you out. All right, then. Fare thee well. Et Etienne? Whatever the fuck your name was. I don't remember. <sighs> Shit, dude. That must be this door, right? And then this goes down another level. Down another level. I'm wondering, like, with how the game's structured, would it technically... Because I haven't decided. Originally, I planned on putting this on the game's to beat list. I haven't decided if I want to or not. I think I need to play around with a little bit more of my own time. But... Oh, fuck. Excuse me. Yeah, I am curious, like, with how it's structured... 
should we like go and do the temple and then come back like each time you unlock a new level should you hop to somewhere else or like how does that work i wonder what's just what's the best order to do things then because it's not like we can see the enemy levels i guess you just kind of have to gauge based off of how much or how little you're struggling with with the enemies i do appreciate the recall potion thing though that's nice but that's oh shit that that's just a game mechanic at all i think somebody heard me too bad you apparently don't know how to work doors ow dude I got enough fucking healing potions to murder you and your entire family. Don't fuck with me. An amulet? I wonder what the amulet does. Can it tell us, or is it just called an amulet? It's called amulet. <laughs> Whatever. Equip it then! And before it's cursed. I wonder if uh identifies a thing. Like if there are unknown items. A weapon rack. Bro. And X. YouTube link? Random YouTube link? That's not scary at all. I'm guessing it's a. Okay. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, though. <laughs> Where do we go from here? Inside me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god no need for flattery you're already inside me oh they did such a good job like with the the voices <laughs> all of you inside me at the same time is he kidding no <laughs> oh my god all right, Cell is fucking great. I take back everything negative I've said about him. He's a uh, top tier. <laughs> just, <laughs> but just because the fucking Dragon Ball Z abridged. Oh my god, <laughs> that's great, dude. He is a little creepy, just in general. I, I see where they where they were coming from with it. But just playing it over the top like that, that's perfect. That's the the perfect version of Cell. You see what I did there? It's perfect Cell. Aha! <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm tired, man. It's about time for me to get off, I think. <gasps> A gelatinous cube? What? Bro, I didn't expect to find a gelatinous cube down here. That's pretty sick. A bunch of gelatinous cubes. I expected them to be a lot more powerful than what they are, honestly. They're kind of bitches. I mean, if I got swarmed by them, I guess it would be bad, but... Like, one gelatinous cube in D&D is pretty fucking rough to deal with, man. Give me my padded helmet plus one, please. Let's go. Uh, I don't like the green. Can I dye it a different color? I want to like... I don't know. I'm waiting for something to happen. I don't even know what exactly, if anything. Like a, a, a proper boss fight maybe? An ability would be really cool. Some sort of like sick ass piece of armor or weapon or something but makes me want to play gauntlet i can see why yeah that's fair i do like want to play a good dungeon crawler game though like so i haven't played like any crpg like dungeon crawler s game in quite a while man I guess since, like, Torchlight 2 came out, really. Because I played a tiny bit of uh, Diablo 3, but I didn't really care for it, so <laughs> I never finished it. 
But if I'm being completely honest, though, while Diablo 3 didn't really tickle my fancy, like, straight up, it's better than this, though. Like, just to be fair, you know? I can see, though, like, for the PS2, how I would have ended up really enjoying this if I had it back in the day. Because it's that semi-mindless dungeon-crawling action that you get with a game like Diablo, but simplified for the console market. People are trying to get you. Yeah, whenever it first came out, a couple guys at work were talking about it a whole lot, and I was like, bro, I just, I don't know. D3 never did it for me, so why the fuck would I care about the always online bullshit that is D4? Like, multiplayer would, oh, 100%, man, definitely. I remember on my PSP, I don't even remember what game it was, but uh, there was some dungeon crawler on the PSP, and honestly, it was kind of trash. <laughs> but I played a decent bit of it just because I like the genre. Like, I was in college at the time, so it's just in between classes, I just need to waste a little bit of time. So I just boot up this dungeon crawler game and run a run a quest real quick or run through an area just to see what kind of loot I could get and shit like that. That's what I like dungeon crawlers for. Just, just mindless fuck. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I will say, though, as far as the D3 thing goes... I've heard it's gotten a lot better, so I might end up going back through and playing it at some point, but D4 interests me zero. I have literally no plans to play Diablo 4 ever, <laughs> unless like some DLC comes out that makes it a hell of a lot better and they remove the always online bullshit. I don't think I'm ever going to touch D4. I'm more excited. I'm pretty sure the Torchlight team announced that they're working on another game. And while I don't think Torchlight ever quite achieved the level of quality that like D1 or D2 did, I'm I'm still more excited for that than whatever Bethe Bethesda, <laughs> whatever the fuck Blizzard's gonna put out next. I'm gonna kill these slimes. I don't actually know what these creatures are. They look like fucking slimes, but I don't remember slimes being a thing in. I almost said Dragon Age and fucking Dungeons and Dragons. Fuck, I need sleep, my god. But anyways, guys, yeah, no. That was uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. It's not bad. If I had it when I was a kid, I would have played the hell out of it. But I haven't decided yet if I'm actually going to play it to completion on stream or anything like that or in my own time i might fuck around with it a little bit more in my free time to help me decide and then of course if just people want to see it then i'll throw it on there i'm not above that i mean fuck pets is on the list so <laughs> like yeah <laughs> you think this would be a good one to finish because i'm not against it how long is it that's another thing that is going to play into it how long to beat a dark alliance Oh, that's Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance. No, I want Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. 12 hours. Average of 14. That's not too bad. That's, what, three and a half streams? Like, that's not too bad, honestly. I'll consider it. Like I said, I think I'm still going to fuck around with it a little bit more in my own time first. I know that... What the fuck? The weapon is thirsting for blood? Is it cursed? Is it speaking to you? Are we playing Skyrim? What's that blade where you kill innocent people when it gets more powerful? Is that what this fucking keen hand axe is? What was I saying? Oh, I know Nate was uh, wanting to do Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance too. So I know there's at least a couple people that want to see it. So I'll definitely consider it, my guys. Throwing it on there. I'm excited for Dark Alliance too. That was a PS2 game. This Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. Uh, yeah, PS2 and Xbox, original Xbox. So, wonder if that one... Fuck, now I'm wanting to look up videos of that. I'm getting distracted. Have a wonderful night. <laughs> What's your vote for the next Western RPG stream plays? Remember, it's most likely going to be Bethesda. That's important to remember. 
So it would be between like the Fallout and, and Elder Scrolls games. Dragon Age, Dragon Age would probably just go on like a normal to beat thing, because the Western RPGs I want to play like survival mode with hardcore rules, and I just don't think there's mods for it for Dragon. Well, Dragon Age has a good modding scene, so Dragon Age might work, but like Nate really wanted to see Fable, and I just I don't think Fable has mods for that sort of thing. Dragon Age might though. But if you had to pick one of the Bethesda games, I I know there's mods for it. I don't know if there's survival mods for Dragon Age. Cause like all the Bethesda games have survival mode mods. <laughs> Skyrim, yeah. I mean, I figured that's what everybody was gonna pick is Skyrim. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, one of the Fallout games is probably gonna be next. <laughs> and then if we want to skip to Skyrim skip oblivion i'll consider that but i would still make the argument that going from oldest to newest would be less painful for everybody involved <laughs> and not oblivion but fallout 3 and new vegas should go significantly quicker because i've played those games before i've beaten those games before i should say those are the only two bethesda games i've ever beaten so if we do Fallout 3 or New Vegas, it should actually go a lot quicker than, than Morrowind has. Because while I don't plan on rushing the main story, if it gets to that point where we're like, okay, I think we're pretty much done with this, then we can just kind of like get it done. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. If I'm peer pressured enough, we might go to Skyrim <laughs> next. But I just... I didn't want to do like a chunk of Elder Scrolls, you know, break it up a little bit, break it up a little bit. I wish I could just stream full time because then, you know, we would just like do it all. You're changing your vote to Daggerfall? I mean, <laughs> look, I considered doing Arena and Daggerfall as part of the beating all the Bethesda games, uh, at least all the mainline Bethesda games, as well as Fallout 1 and 2. Um, I did consider that. Um, and originally, when I first came up with the, the challenge, that was the plan. And in fact, there's some really old VODs. I don't know if they're still on YouTube or if I have them. Blades is not mainline. Not mainline. That's a spinoff. It would only be Fallout 1, 2, maybe Tactics, 3, 4, New Vegas. And then for the Elder Scrolls game, it would just be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, maybe the MMO, but probably not. Oh, and then Fallout 76 would be in that gray area, too. Maybe, probably not, sort of. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I don't know if, like, the VODs are still up or if they're uh, unlisted now or whatever. But I ha I was playing through Arena back in the day <laughs> um, when I first came up with this, this challenge. So, yeah. <laughs> there is a Daggerfall recreation in Unity, which makes it a little bit easier to play. So... <laughs> I'm just saying, don't tempt me, because I will. I will do it. Anyways, guys, that's enough for tonight. I'm going to get off here, get a couple games added to the list from my, my small pile down. Upload some VODs. And uh, get a shower and go to bed, because I'm tired of shit. I'm kind of excited for Red Faction. I feel like I might have played one of them back in the day, but I don't know. I don't really remember anything about it. So I think Red Faction's the one with like the destruction, right? Like fully destructible environments and buildings and shit. Destroy the environment in real time using exclusive Geomod technology. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I played some Red Faction, but uh, yeah. Anyways, have a good night, guys. I will see you in a couple of days to play another PS2 game, I guess, right? Sunday night PS2, yeah. We'll see you guys then, and uh, good night. Be kind to each other, all that stuff. Bye. So many different kinds now, it's hard to find one.